In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cyclone out of sheet metal for a dust collection system. I'm going to show you the calculations that you need to use. There's a lot of information online. It's very, very confusing about laying one of these cyclones out and make. It's mostly from a scientific aspect from mathematicians, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's very, very simple. You only need a couple pieces of information. So come on along and check it out. We're going to build a fresh trim out of this sheet metal. There's all kinds of stuff online to make it really, really complicated, but I figured out how to do it. It's really easy. In this case, our fresh trim is going to be 24 inches high, 4 inch diameter. The smaller portion is kind of upside down, but um, 12 inch diameter at the top. This is the actual equation to get the slant. The only thing you need is the slant and a radius of one. And then you can draw your your lines to make your thrust drum. You don't need this equation. You can go online to get your uh, slant. There's online calculators. All you do is into your height your radius for each each end and it gives you the slant number okay so here's what it looks like again to make your fresh fresh trim all you need is your uh, radius of the larger circle okay which is half the diameter and then you need the slant which you get from an online calculator so in this case 24 inch high Frustrum gives us 24.33 slant from the online calculator by entering these radiuses and the height gives you that. Six is the uh, radius of the larger diameter. So you do six divided by 24.33 times 360 gives you the degrees. That's all you need is the degrees and your slant number. And you take those two pieces of information and you make a line of your slant. And then you measure the degrees 88.77 off that line, make another line. And you cut these two lines on the sheet metal and you fold it over to make a frustrum. Allow yourself one inch for a seam. Now this will make a cone, but if you want to um, the actual frustrum, make this slant a little bit longer as far as the height. Maybe go four inches longer um, to give you four inch diameter. So it would actually be 28. You enter that. so. The cone will give you 88.77 degrees of freshman 76, but you only need these two pieces of information right here to cut. And we'll see what that looks like. Make sure you wear gloves, this stuff will cut you up pretty good. Tensions on the sheet metal. It's time to cut the fresh drum out, the cyclone. In this case, it's a 24 by 24 inch piece of sheet metal. And it just so happens that the height of my cyclone, I want 24 inches. So I only had to make two cuts, one arc for the top and one for the bottom. After you cut out the shape of your cyclone, AKA frustum, now it's time to actually bend it in shape. This is actually kind of fun part. It, it's a little bit um, challenging but I just take your time and, and work uh, each edge together. And it'll take you probably five or 10 minutes to get it shaped. And then um, once you finally get it rolled over um, to the two seams touching, 
then I'll show you um, how to fasten the seams together. There's actually several ways that you could attach the seam together. You can weld the seam, you can solder the seam. Um, what I do is I use pop rivets. It, it's super easy, it looks professional, it looks clean. And so this is how you first gotta drill some holes. You're gonna need some help, uh, either clamp it initially to get the first rivet in, prop it against something, but you gotta drill, drill some holes first one at a time and then uh, put your pop rivet in the hole this pop rivet gun I have doesn't work very well I actually ended up getting a larger one more of a lever action one more of an industrial type that works a lot better and this is what it looks like when your cyclone is completed with the seam together with the pop rivets in. You can trim the backs of the pop rivets if you want with a pair of snips. And uh, your cyclone is ready to use how you want. You can attach it to your dust collection system however you want to do that uh, with your baffle and dust collector box and all that. This is part of a dust collection system I'm making so I just wanted to shoot this video of the actual sheet metal um, cyclone part.